Welcome back to a new episode of Eye on the Eagles. I'm Darian Miner and I'm here with head, brand new head bowling coach Paul Wolf and Mike Soroka of Aaron's Will now. He was going to be home to the Eagles this year. Um, it's great to have you guys. Thank you. This is a pretty big deal having both of you sitting here because uh, we are adding a new program and you guys are leading, leading this program into the future. So first, uh, Coach, I wanted to ask you about like your bowling past and your career as a, a bowling professional. Well, I, I grew up here in Kansas City and uh, moved to Las Vegas uh, in 1986 and uh, started uh, bowling professionally uh, on the uh, PBA Tour in 1987 and bowled on the PBA Tour from 87 to 91. Uh, and then uh, I figured out that it's a tough way to make a living and uh, moved back to Kansas City uh, and just kept pursuing uh, staying in the bowling uh, business and I've uh, run retail stores, wholesale, uh, given tons of individual lessons and that's you know basically my, my story in the bowling business. Okay, great. For, since this is a new program and not all schools have a bowling program, could you kind of break down what like a match day or a meet day or a tournament looks like for you guys? Sure. It, it consists of usually three to four whole team matches, five person, uh, full games. Then they're, then a, it's a, which are called qualifying games. And then after that, it moves to Baker games. And Baker games consist of each player uh, rolling two frames. Okay, so the first bowler bowls one frame, then your second, third, fourth, fifth, then your first bowler will bowl the sixth frame, second bowler seven, third bowler eighth, fourth bowler ninth, and then your fifth bowler, which is usually your strongest player, bowls the tenth frame. And that goes on, it can go anywhere, depending on the format, it can go, uh, there can be 12 games of Baker, it can be 24 games of Baker, which sounds like a lot, but when you're only throwing two frames, it goes pretty quick and it gets pretty loud. Yeah. Um, since this is a new program, uh, as far as recruiting, do you think it makes it harder or easier to get kids to come in when you have a brand new program? Um, I think it, you know, it can be harder um, just because you're, you're a brand new entity and, and kids are, that have, have been in bowling for so long know what the big programs are and uh, you know that's what their focus is so it's my job to go out and sell this program and what we have to offer and the training facilities that we have to offer uh, and, the, and the new gadgets uh, for, for training and uh, I think and we have a lot to offer especially with our new facility. Yeah. Well speaking of our new facility we have Mike here. Uh, can you kind of tell us about your facility first to start? Yeah, uh, Aaron's Family Fun Center is located in Belton. Uh, it's been there since 2002. It is a uh, traditional 32 lane type bowling center, modern, auto scoring and everything like that. We also have a six lane private party room we call the Den, which is its own bowling center included. Um, we have a snack bar, bar, those types of facilities. On the outside, we have a mini golf and a volleyball. So, I mean, it's a really up to date, clean center. Uh, you know, we, we do offer, you know, as Paul was saying, for as far as like what the bowlers go, um, you know, we put out different lane oil patterns and stuff like that. So, but no, our facility is, uh, we just recently updated it again three years ago with all the brand new scoring. So there's all kinds of games and even training aids for the team to use while they're there too. How affect, how much help is it for you to have a center that's so up to date and so involved to having a successful team. Oh man, it's everything. It's uh, you know that that's part of the part of the recruiting process is you know we're gonna we're gonna tell these kids, hey, we've got a dedicated practice facility uh, with all the latest bells and whistles that you can imagine, and uh, we're we're very proud of that. Uh, just starting up with a new program because most new programs don't have that to start off with. Very true. Well. I want to thank you guys for joining us thus far, but Coach, uh, there's something we do with every first time coach on the show, and we have a couple rapid fire questions for you. 
So we want to get those and we're going to see how you do. Let's go. All right, first, what's your favorite color? Blue. Favorite food? Uh, spaghetti. Favorite restaurant? Oh, man. The peanut. Okay. If you're on a vacation, or beaches or mountains? Oh, beaches. Favorite holiday? Uh, Valentine's Day. Favorite candy bar? Oh, Snickers. Favorite movie? Uh, Goodfellas. Favorite band slash music performer? Uh, Johnny Cash. Favorite TV show? The League. And last TV show you binged? Uh, the League. <laughs> That's just how it goes. <laughs> well, thank you both for being here. It's been great having you. I uh, can't wait to get back. Wait, can you. I wait, wait, wait? Can I change my favorite color? What's your favorite color? My favorite color is purple. Well, now it should be. <laughs> You're going to be wearing a whole lot of it. But once again, it's great to have you guys. I can't wait to interview you more once we have some matches and once we get some kids in here. And I just know you're going to do a great job here for the Eagles. Thank you very much. Dave. We'll see you with the next interview. And we are back on the Island of the Eagles with brand new men's and women's head wrestling coach, Graham Carwath. How you doing? Doing well. Nice. Thanks for having me. Oh, uh, no. No, it's my pleasure. Uh, we love having new coaches to interview. Um, so far, from your experience at Alpha, how has it been for you? It's been good, man. Just just staying really busy with, with recruiting and um, learning the ins and outs of everything. But uh, it's been great. It's been great so far. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, as far as recruiting, um, how, how does a coach who has a brand new program go about getting wrestlers into their system? Yeah, so I have a lot of, uh, you know, connections locally and, you know, throughout the you know, United States and, you know, definitely reaching out to, to those connections and, you know, utilizing, uh, you know, wrestling websites and, and recruiting websites and um, social media is a, is a big tool that I use to, to recruit. Um, so I, I look at brackets and, and search kids on their social media and message them and, you know, try to get them interested in in you know Avila wrestling. Can you give us a little bit of your background as a, a coach and your wrestling history? Yeah, so I, I started uh, wrestling in Louisiana, so that's something that you and I have in common. Yeah, uh, both so Louisiana. This is Louisiana, so um, yeah, so I started wrestling in, in Louisiana at East Ascension High School and um, in Gonzales, Louisiana, and I was you know a wrestler for three years there and uh, uh, finished second in the state my senior year and. Had some opportunities to go, you know, D2, NAI, D3. Uh, chose to stay home, actually, so I have a, a, a crazy story, um, you know, in, in how I've gotten here, kind of, um, you know, an unconventional story, I should say. Um, helped my brother, you know, win his state championship a couple years after, you know, after I graduated and started helping him, you know, get recruited. And then he, uh, he went to Williams Baptist University in, in Walnut Ridge, Arkansas, and the coach brought me in as a as a student assistant coach, and you know I kind of had all the duties of, of an assistant coach, and I uh, was kind of the initial recruiting person, you know, for that program. So, uh, you know, we, we did we did you know fairly well there. Finished fourth in our third year of existence, and third in our fourth year of existence. So, you know, we, we had some some great success there, and then I moved on to Lindenwood Belleville in, in Belleville, Illinois, another NAI school. Um, and you know we we had our first men's wrestling all-american there um and then the head coach there left to a, to another school to, to actually start a program um and then you know i was head coach for three weeks had you know 20 kids signed and and everything and then they announced that the school was consolidating um with the with the main lindingwood campus so yeah it's a uh, it's, it's kind of been crazy and since then, um, then I went to Division Three Mac Murray College in, in Jacksonville, Illinois, and um, you know had some decent success there as well. And uh, we had three women's All Americans last year. Finished fifteenth in the NCAA tournament on the on the women's side, and um, the men's team you know beat beat some teams that you know we've never beaten before at, at Mac Murray. And um, you know when when COVID happened, the uh, the, the school decided that they were going to shut down permanently and. Um, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's been interesting, man, so. Well, that's, that's, that's quite a journey to get to where you are, but right. we're glad you're here now. Yeah, thanks. Um, what do you think are some of the pros and cons of being a pioneer to a program at a school? 
Yeah, so I think the, the pros are, are definitely uh, are definitely really great. Um, you know, the, the, the wrestlers who walk in the door on the wrestling team, you know, in year one, like, they are the founding members, you know, they are the, they are the real pioneers, you know, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just the, the coach of, of those pioneers, so, so that's, uh, you know, that's something that I think is, is really cool for, for those athletes to, you know, be interested in and, and be a part of, and, um, you know, also, like, the, you know, the pros are, are just, there. there's no, you know, bad culture, there's no, um, you know, there's no turnover here at all with, with the wrestling program, so, um, you know, it's, it's uh, I don't know, it's kind of, you know, starting from, from you know, fresh, and, you know, it's, it's fresh and new and exciting, and I would say some cons, I guess, would, would probably be, you know, uh, coming back to that culture, there is no culture mm -hmm. set yet, so, um, you know, so, so, you know, we have to work on, on building that, and, you know, I think utilizing social media to kind of, you know, build our brand and, and get our name out there is, is really important. Well, with that pioneer group, uh, what are what are some of the goals that you have that you hope to accomplish with the team in the in the first season? Yeah, so I definitely want to win a conference duel um, on both the men's and the women's side. I think that's that that's really important. Um, I want everybody on the team to win a match individually. Um, you know, we'll have a lot of freshmen and and you know young you know young college wrestlers. So I think getting everyone to to have a you know to to win at least one match on the team. You know, from from the, the top of the team to the bottom is, is pretty good. Um, and I also, you know, want, want the team to have a cumulative GPA of a 3.0, both teams. Um, that's, again, that's, that's really important. And I believe with, you know, starting a wrestling program, um, you know, that, that academics come first and, and you have to, uh, you know, you have to do what you, you know, do your best in the classroom. And, you know, our, our team, team GPA goal is of a 3.0. Well, that's a great goal to have, and I know we have a, a academic cup that we hand out every year to the team on either side, men's or women's, with the highest GPA. So oh, hopefully nice. you guys are in the mix for that. Oh, yeah. Um, can you kind of explain what a meet day is like for a collegiate wrestler? Yeah, so so a, a, a meet day is, is kind of like, um, I don't know, it's kind of hectic for the wrestlers because a lot of times they're working to get down to their weight class, so... Um, you know, they're, they're maybe doing, you know, some, some workouts to, to get a little weight off and get a little water out and sweat. Um, so usually on a, on a meet day, on a tournament day, you're weighing in at, at 8 a.m. and then you, you have two hours to recover and then you, the, the first whistles blow at, at 10 a.m. And, you know, a, a large size wrestling tournament, you can be there from, you know, you get there about six in the morning because, you know, some of your wrestlers are, you know, having to, you know, having to, uh, you know, uh, lose some weight or whatever at the beginning. Um, and then, and then, you know, like if the tournament's big enough, you can be there till, you know, 6 p.m. So it could be a 12 hour day just of, of being at the event. So it's, a, it's definitely, a, you know, a long and, and grueling process, but um, an individual dual meet, like a team on team event is, is a little more structured, I, I would say. It's, it's more of, game day kind of atmosphere, um, you know, you weigh in two hours before, you know, before you wrestle, um, and then you have the mat in the middle of the basketball gym, uh, chairs on both sides, you know, where, where each team will sit, and then um, one wrestler in, the, in, in, in each weight class will come out and wrestle each other, and then points are awarded, um, you know, throughout, you know, based on those individual matches. Well, thanks. Yeah. Uh, I'm so happy to have you here. And that we get to talk about this because we have a new program coming in. I know you guys are going to do great this season, this upcoming year when you guys first kick it off. So we just are happy to have you here with the Eagle family. Um, but before we send you on your way, we have some rapid fire <laughs> questions to get to you. All right. So are you ready to roll? Yes, sir. Let's do it. All right. Well, what's your favorite color? Black. Favorite food? Burgers. Favorite restaurant? Whataburger. On a vacation, are you beaches or mountains? Mountains. Favorite holiday? Christmas. Uh, favorite candy bar? Reese's. Is that a candy bar? I'll count it. <laughs> favorite movie? Uh, Eight Mile. Favorite band slash musical performer? Eminem. Favorite TV show? Uh, Breaking Bad. And last TV show you binge watched? Uh, Ozark. Well, there you have it, people. Graham Carwalk, the new head coach of the men's and women's wrestling program. We'll be back with the next interview.